<clears throat> Hello, ladies and Hello. gentlemen, to the Game of Hive podcast. Welcome back. Here, it's just three of us this time, not four. You have uh, me, Little Phantom. You Ish. have Scott me. and Neville. Sam. <laughs> we've got Scott and Neville, and we've got Shady Killer. Hello. Hello. Um. Yeah. <gasps> so, how are you guys been doing? It's, it's been a while since our last podcast, I will say that. Yep. Yep. Um, I've been alright, I was on holiday, I was in Cyprus. That's right. And, you uh, didn't get affected by um, Thomas no, Cook, did you? No. I wish I had, because I'd still be there. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I, did you hear what happened to people that were still on holiday when that was happening? No. So, so for for people who don't know, um, Thomas Cook is a company that you go to, you pay money to go to holiday, um, and they sort out all the your hotel and stuff to do. Um, some people while on holiday, their hotel wasn't paid for by Thomas Cook because Thomas Cook was going into administration. Um, so hotels were hiring security. And locking their doors and refusing holiday makers to leave until they had paid for their hotel. Wow. And kicking them out. That's crazy. <laughs> Could you imagine being on holiday and being told that you can't leave your hotel until you pay for it? No, insane. Um, so Thomas Cook were given um three days over the weekend to come up with two hundred million. And if they did not come up with 200 million in those three days, that's it. They were bankrupt. They had lost everything. Wow. Um, I know that. Ask that, me. I've got two mil in the bank. <laughs> 200 mil. 200. I've got that as well. <laughs> uh, I know the government said that they would um, help some of the holiday makers, but they weren't helping the company. So a lot of people have lost their holiday. Um, but it's sorry, yeah. Neville, how, how was your uh, how was your Cyprus? It was amazing. I um, <clears throat> I got drunk a few times. <laughs> I annoyed Sharon a few times. I played uh, water polo, volleyball. Um, <clears throat> what else? I played darts, shuffleboard. Um, pool. It was proper like sportsman there. Yeah, and you so had good weather. Like, uh, you had a good time. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just basically the rest of the time I just looked really sexy and stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> Coming out the sea like um, what you call him, out James Bond. <laughs> Craig nice. Daniels. Funny nice. man. Funny, funny. Man. So, <laughs> no, no embarrassing stories or anything. Um. Yeah, bring us the good stuff. I tell you, I tell you what I found the problem, right? Mm. Which I've googled recently is that um, it was the the flights. All right. On the airplane, right? Now, who did he fly with? It was um, Tui. Tui. Never heard of him. So basically, when I got up in the sky. I couldn't stop stop um, farting, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I had to go to the toilet a few times, even though I didn't want to go, just mm. to like let rip. But um, I've actually googled it, and it does. Um, there's actually a uh, a lot of people suffer from that when they because it's the pressure, you know, the air you, pressure, the pressure. Do you know when you have a like a bottle of water or something that sucks mm. in there? Well, that that's what happens inside you. So even the pilots, it's what it's one of the complaints of pilots and stuff like that. They complain a lot about flatulence and stuff. So honestly, so that's why a lot of people, like, you know what I mean? It's um are up and down all the time trying to go to the toilet. It's not because they yeah. want to go for, you know, a number one or a number two, which I did have a number two because 
I then sit on that toilet in case it sucks us out the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the noise it makes when you flush the cha- flush the thing on a plane? Never sure. used one. Are we not? Oh my! I've God, only so been on a plane plan. once. I've only okay. ever flown once, and that was to Ireland, so it was like an hour flight. Well, you pl- you, you flush it right, and you, nothing happens, and all of a sudden it goes. <laughs> get loud as <laughs> out. I'm saying, Jesus, I'm not sitting on that. It'll suck us out. But anyway, that's um, just something I wanted to share with everybody. Um, if, you <laughs> fart a lot on the, if you fart a lot on the plane, it's totally it's normal. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Either that or you had beans the night before. No, no, no. It's, it's you know, <laughs> I didn't have any beans. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I hope that's um, educated a few people. So, JD, what have you Thanks. been up to? Well, not that much though. Um, only thing I did uh, uh, in the weekends, at least, uh, uh, besides working, was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare the open beta. Nice. I had, uh, <laughs> we had some fun. Yeah. Cool. Uh, anything to say about the game? Uh, sure. Um, I think it's a it's an awesome game. Um, my experience was that it's a completely another feel of game. Yeah. Um, I really like it. I can't hear you, Neville. <clears throat> Neville, um, we can't hear you. No, but it was awesome. Yeah. Um, and you, cosplay. That's insane. That's incredible. Awesome. I what played, do you think of it as like ones. um as like a Call of Duty game? Like, does it does it fit in with all the other Call of Duties? Does it is it? Oh yeah. Set your expectations. Um, I'm not sure about that. It was a it was a good game. Um, what did, what I think it's is pretty good is there is um um. They expanded their maps, so it's All not right. three lane, but it's a little bit more depth in it. And um, yeah, I like it. it I, um, I don't, I don't know if I, I, if I'm right in saying this, are the maps um, like a remake from one of the older games. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. I'm not sure if I played that particular Call of Duty, but yeah. Okay. Have you, have yeah. you played it, Neville? I don't know, but my. Um... Everyone froze about um, four or five times there. Nice. Oh. For me. And I pulled about three faces. Yeah, we've been watching you. Yeah, yeah, we, we've seen it. You, you <laughs> spoke as well. We didn't hear what you said. There was no sound. Was that was I froze or something? No, you wasn't. No. Was I just pulling funny faces? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we well, saw you. We saw you go to say something, but we couldn't hear you at all. The cameras keep flickering for some reason. Yeah, I think oh, it's... I can't hear anybody again. Oh, no. Uh, <sighs> not the ear set. What, what do you have uh, running on the background, Neville? Um, porn. Nothing. <laughs> Midget porn. <laughs> Nothing wrong with midget mid- porn. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just, just, I'll just have a look at something while I. <clears throat> I guess slow you are, uh, PC down. Yeah. Good Discord. For, the, for for me, all the cameras keep flickering, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I see that too. Yeah. Should uh... we try another region? Because we're not in Europe. Maybe we can uh, say that do something different. No, I think so. All right, on my thing, just um, basically my my. I got right. flick it off now. <coughs> um, we need to cut this a little bit. Can, can I try something? <laughs> if if we pause sure. pause the podcast a second, if you let's should we <laughs> pretend that the that we never stop the podcast and we continue and going? We're talking about COD, were we? Yes. Oh yeah. Um, Okay, so uh, back to Call of Duty. Um, yeah. Neville, have you have you played? Of course, I have. And your thoughts? I have, um, I have pre-ordered it. Mm-hmm. Um, I read a few reviews before even playing it, and um, I played it, and it is absolutely amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's um, it's fast. It's nice and 
like I don't know it's just just the way you, you you load your guns the way you you got your double tap run and stuff like that and it's just it's fast paced and I like it so then mm-hmm. um, boots back on the floor what yeah. everybody loved I don't oh, know what sound. Jesus, oh, the sounds is amazing man oh the sounds yeah I wow. sniping or oh, sniping what a what a noise when you get somebody in the head or something like that bloody hell oh really yeah, oh it's, it's proper uh, reloading the guns i mean you can reload the gun without the an- animation taking over the whole screen but yeah. you're just still holding the gun up and you, you you reload it just it's little bits they've done to it it's like they've just perfected it yeah mm-hmm. so, Agreed. um what well, about <clears throat> What's your feelings on this game compared to the uh, previous Call of Duty's? Does it feel like a normal Call of Duty? Neville? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking about rainbows there. Um, <laughs> it is It is Call of Duty. Um, they've just tweaked it. Yeah. It's better. But, yeah, made it more up-to-date. They've, yeah. It's, I mean... You can go in buildings, but there's also little hidden areas you can get in buildings, so you can sneak in. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you can smash through doors. You can open doors quietly. You know what I mean? It's like, and there's the, there's things that can explode around you and stuff like that. I, I mean, I think that's they could do that in Call of Duty, but they've just done done it so much better in this one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. For sure. And that's the good. game modes, um, the game modes I've played, um. You know your normal team death match and um what's it domination what's the headquarters the cypher one i haven't played much of but um yeah headquarters domination apparently there's a couple yeah. couple new game modes in there like yeah. ones they've never used before i think so yeah. there's i think there's going to be loads <clears throat> of little, um, surprises when that comes out when it fully comes out okay. um even, even the campaign supposed to be amazing but um we played a bit of ground war mm-hmm my yeah. god yeah that's insane Jeez. Uh, yeah well, i've played one one little match of it uh i i was not sure what to expect <laughs> but it, um the map is so insane you you just it's incredible yeah um it's like a oh. real war it's and the, perfect and the cross platform yeah it works perfectly about time about time eh? uh, that's all, only one thing i guess they, they need to fix um and that's uh, where you can have a private party, chat mm-hmm. party. Yeah. Uh, mm. So maybe a, um, a cross-platform um, app like Discord or some sort of app yeah. to connect with your cross-play buddies. That would be awesome. Yeah, I think that would be down to Discord, wouldn't it? I guess, yeah. Yeah. I guess. There's still plenty of places for campus to sit and all. Yep. Do you, sure. it, what what would be cool to see Discord have an app on PlayStation and Xbox? So instead of using the PlayStation built-in t- uh, team chat, you could have Discord built-in and just join. Exactly. That'd be that'd be cool. Yeah, cool. I don't think that's gonna happen, but no. it would be nice. Um, so have you guys got uh, a favorite part or uh, a, a not so favorite part of the game so far that you've seen? Mm. I hate the map. Um, what's the cave one? The cave, what's it yeah. I can't remember what you call it. Yeah. Cave. yeah, I think, yeah. It's an absolute nightmare because um, there's so many areas people can sit and, um, oh man, camp. it's just camp and, um, aye, it's horrible. But there's nothing I don't like. There's not much I don't like in the game. It's, um, I kept coming back for more. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. And I had a buzz, you know what I mean? And, you know, when you get the kills, you know, I was shouting at the top of my vice, like, vice. (laughs) What's a a vice? Your vice. (laughs) Do some stay there. I was shouting at the top of my voice every time I was getting my kills. And it was like one kill, two kill, three kill. And they just wouldn't learn. They were just all running out. (laughs) So I was like, get in. But no, it's brilliant. Um, and hopefully we'll get some uh, competitions going, like in Discord. Yeah. Cool, cool thing about uh, Search and Destroy, what we know of Search and Destroy, um, 
now as we have a game mode that it's actually search and destroy, but you can revive each other. And that's 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 a good team play. That is a hundred percent, a hundred percent. So um, that's, I, I, we should we should have some competition in the hive, I guess. Yeah. So, talking of having competition in the hive, is are we looking at building up members then for this game? Is there something sure. we want a community for? Oh yeah, mm, yeah, sure. I I know there's been quite a a discussion about it. Some people were asking, are we are we going to get players for this game? Um, so if you're interested in playing this game and you want to be part of a gaming community, let us know. Oh, yeah, oh. Hey, it's empty. <laughs> What's that all about? Neville's talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> empty bottle of liquor zone. Yeah, Sharon just passed me this and I thought it was a full bottle, but it's empty. What a bitch. Oh, um, Sharon. But so, you're not, uh, not, not, not much of a Call of Duty player? Me? Uh, no. Uh, I used to be. Uh, back in the day, <laughs> um, I played pretty much every Call of Duty, all the way up to Advanced Warfare. Um, lo absolutely loved them. Absolutely loved them. Advanced Warfare though um, destroyed everything for me, ruined it, um, and I think a lot of people felt the same. Um, but then I, I just never touched, never touched Call of Duty series ever again, and it's not something I've been wanting to go back to. To be honest, it's hard to get back to something. Well, I was going to walk away from it, but um, after playing this, especially the demo for the the gun game, yeah, mm -hmm. um, with the two player either side, and it, that just made me think this is quite solid this so yeah that changed my mind yeah it's going to be brilliant and in fact i think it'll probably get top marks like reviews when it comes out that's fair enough oh yep. there is i i've been so stuck on division two at the moment um and black desert online i don't i don't want to go on to another another new game division what division two when did that come out <laughs> too long ago i'm late to the game i know i know <coughs> but it's good i love it it's i'm, yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying it a lot you want to get <coughs> you want to get in destiny then destiny then oh that's rubbish destiny <laughs> what destiny what <laughs> nah, nah, nah. i've got destiny yeah nah, i'm good uh talking about uh some games uh I believe there was a very great announcement this week about the game. There was, there was, there was an announcement. A, few. Uh, a couple games, yeah. Um, so I, I don't know if anyone, uh, if any of you guys watched it, but on Tuesday, um, uh, how did you hatch you? You, you need to put your thumbs <laughs> further down. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if you guys watched it, but on Tuesday, PlayStation done a little stream announcing a, f a few cool things. Um, they spoke about a few games that are have been released or that are being released. Uh, and I spoke about the October monthly PSN games. So one game in particular, I think we were all excited to hear. And there had been a few leaks on Twitter over the last couple of weeks from the developer. Uh, first starting off with a picture of uh, a knife from The Last of Us. And the quote above it saying, we've waited too long. Um, we, no, we've kept this a secret for too long. What is that? Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, the developer put in a picture saying we, we've uh, we've waited too long or kept this a secret too long, and yeah. PlayStation done a oh so first of all their developer posted a little video of Ellie playing the guitar and Joel walking in and going uh, Joel going uh, are you going to go through with this Ellie's like I'm going to kill every single last one of them i mean exciting come on ellie's like all grown up she's got f <coughs> if she could kill you by her looks she would have done through that video 
And then we come to the PlayStation stream where they posted a actual trailer and it looks so goddamn good. Graphics are on point, audio, <coughs> visuals, and nothing about that trailer said it's not The Last of Us. Everything about that trailer said this is Last of Us 2. I'm going to be excited to play it. I can't wait. Let's go. February 21st. Right? Sorry? It was uh, even better news for the fans, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. It's great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I, Christ. <laughs> I was afraid <laughs> that it was going to... This might ruin The Last of Us, but it turns out it's not. So, February 21st. Coming to PlayStation. Can't wait. I'm excited. Oh, yes. I'm going to be pre-ordering. Uh, oh, yes. But I was... I, I thought you... Um, you told me that there was a PSN action on it? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so, next month, October, PlayStation... Uh, obviously, on PSN, they bring out two games every month for free. Next month, October, is going to be The Last of Us number one. And they're also going to be bringing out The Show 2019, which is a baseball game. Um, uh -huh. But I think we're all more excited for The Last of Us Remastered. Sure. For free next month. Come on. Pick it up I've, while you can. I've never played um, The Last of Us. How have you not? <laughs> Get it downloaded next month. Play it. Stream it and play it. You will enjoy it. You will love it. Phantom. Yes. I've played it on the PlayStation 3 about the original five times over. I got it remastered for the PS4, played it over about five or six times. I got to level 500 nod online on The Last of Us. Nah, nah, we don't, we don't care about the online. <laughs> the online is absolutely amazing, and you missed a treat with the first one. So, actually, to ask you a question, on the remastered version... Was there a video clip, a scene of Ellie and another girl in what looked like a, sh a shop and it looked like they were in like a relationship with each other? Well, yeah, that it's a downloadable extra, isn't it? That's what I thought. I thought I remembered seeing that because there's a, there's a clip of that in their trailer. Yeah. Did you not Did you not download that extra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I remember it, but it was ages ago when I played it. <clears throat> I, just, I just remember, like, when I saw the trailer and they showed the clip of Ellie and this girl in this room, I just went, why do I feel like I've seen this before? <laughs> because because that's the first time you find out that Ellie um, doesn't like men yeah. in that way. Yeah. But, um, Shay, did you remember that... Um, that trail I put up of me playing online, and uh, I take out nearly a whole team. Mm -hmm. I go in the I go in the building, and three of them come yeah. in after us, and I I shave one of them in the back. Another one jumps through the window and like gets blown up, and I say fire to you, the one with the Molotov. Yeah, yeah, that was great. It was a good battle. Yeah. I I can't wait for the second one. I think the second one's going to be just as good. I I, I don't think. Because I, I class Last of Us, the first one, as one of the best games made. I don't think number two would top it, but I think it would still be up there. It would be like second best or whatever. It's Naughty Dog. Yeah. Um, the Uncharted series topped each one of everyone that came out, so I think it'll surpass The Last of Us. Oh, you think? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got one more question. This is called The Last of Us Part 2. Do you think there will be a part three, considering they called it part two? If it's only by name, yeah, sure. But I don't know. Well, it's one of them things where it's about, um, you know, society breaking down and stuff. And like, so it, it, they could stretch it out where a new world is built and stuff like that. And it could, you, you never know where it could lead. Yeah. Yeah, I think there'll be a third one. There was an Uncharted one, two, three, four. How many Uncharted? How many Uncharted were there? Quite a few. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a few. So yeah, yeah. I think it'll be a Last of Us three. Yeah, I'll be taking up be. five years before we get that. Like, but hey, if it takes five years or six years or whatever to make a fucking good game, I'm happy for that. A master. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, look, look at Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, uh, between their games, took about five, six years between each one. Um, to the point that now, obviously, Grand Theft Auto Five has been out probably about the same five, six years. Uh, so everyone's like, "Well, okay, this is going on the same kind of line of five, six years um, of it being released. There's bound to be another one to come out." So, I mean, ev everyone's on that line. Is it? So with this new, this new trailer. Mm -hmm. Did you, did you have a big grin on your face when you saw Joel? Um, I mean, I saw because I saw the first trailer. I don't know if you saw the first one. Uh, I've seen the yeah, I've seen the first one. So I've, you've obviously seen this new one that came out yesterday or the day before on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I I had a grin on my face as soon as I heard the Last of Us music at the beginning. <laughs> so when when um at near the end of the trailer when she looks up and. What are you do? What are you doing here and stuff like that? And he goes, "Well, I can't let you do this on your own." Yeah. <clears throat> with the, my the, face ended. The first one ended with us thinking he was going to be dead, though, right? Mhm. Mm because um, he got he got shot, didn't he? Coming out of the Firefly Hospital. Wasn't that right? The in the first one. Because him and Ellie went to the Firefly Hospital. <laughs> Because she was supposed to be immune and the um, the, the saviour of trying to have it being a cure. <clears throat> but the hospital <clears throat> got attacked or something. I, I, I don't know. No. Can you watch him? Um, can somehow, can you, with this, can you um, put up like a um, video stream like, you know, when you're watching something. Yeah, you can uh, press the camera at the bottom and, and you can set it to your, your monitor. Um, why were you going to play? Oh, all right. just want to try something. No, no. Our application window. Midget born. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that. We'll get kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, damn. You know what I mean, though? Because every, every now and then I like to see some kind of... Um, the, like video clip or something. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I know what you mean. I can't remember the end of the first one now. Yeah, I remember it being. Um, you went the the big mission was you go into the Firefly Hospital or building or something like that, um, and then something happens and you have to escape. And I think I remember yeah. Joel getting shot or something, and it being just Ellie and Joel trying to leave. Um, I love cheese. <laughs> Um, but you know, it's it's. Um, I can't wait for the second one. It's it's going to be amazing. I, I truly think it's going to be. It is. They can't bring it out quick enough for me. So <clears throat> it'll be a, it'll be a day's holiday after two days um, holiday afterwards. Like the day after. Oh, I'm going to get it on, taking time off. Going to get a midnight release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully with the pre-order, you'll have a you get a day early access. Mm. So. One day. Only. Well, that's how some some of them work, isn't it? Because it's it's not a multiplayer game, so. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> would that would that break uh, or make a game like Last of Us? Make it co-op or something? Well, they did that with remastered, didn't they? They they put an online version. But it, this is the question, though: Will they do this game comes out in February, then the PS5 comes out and it'll be remastered on PS5? And maybe they bring the co-op with PS5. Yeah, uh, the, that's a discussion no, no. going on online, yeah, but there, there'll be a, there'll be yeah. an online there'll be an online for it because, like I said, um, there was a cool forum um, with the first one, a lot and a lot of people played it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, it took a little bit to get the hang of what you needed to do, but when you did, what an awesome! It's up there with. Um, it's up there with Call of Duty for me. Mm -hmm. Right. It's brutal as well. Online's brutal because you can grab all the people. You can, you know, hit them over the head with baseball bats. Um, you know, cut the throats and whatever. 
break a few bones. It was brutal. The first time I saw the ex executions online, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. You need to watch the trailers. You need to watch them. You need to go on YouTube and watch uh, the last one online and see what you missed. The, what, what, what do you guys think? Do you think they're going to bring a remastered version on the PS5? Or do you think they'll just leave it as it is? Uh, why, why make a remaster and don't make a, another one for PS5? That's what they did for, for the first one, didn't they? They went The Last of Us on PS3, and then the PS4 come out and they remastered it. What the fuck? They probably will. They probably will, and um, if the PS5 is going to be way more superior than the PS4, yeah. and if it's going mean, to, you know, fans will buy it. I, I, I did. I brought it on PS3 and PS4. Yeah, me too. I've got it for the PS3 downstairs and the PS4 box is here. Yeah. And I was excited for the remaster to come out because I wanted to continue online. And um, I just wanted to the... play with better graphics. <laughs> and better graphics, I. Yeah. Better graphics in the main game and better graphics on the online as well. Mm. <clears throat> for sure, sure. Um, they they spoke about a few other games um, as well. I can't remember what they were. Um, one of them was uh, I can't remember what it was now. It was coming out. It came out on Tuesday as a demo, um, and you could play the demo for a short while. And you had to find a certain something in the game. And if you found that that certain something in the game, um, you unlocked it for when the game released properly. It was like a, a skin or an item or something. Um, mm. I remember Night of Madness talking about it. It's a good concept. By, by the way, did you uh, did you guys uh, download the uh, the Batman Arkham Knight? No, I, I I've not downloaded it. I've added it to library. Right. Yeah. Twisted Soul actually posted a picture of his PlayStation uh, controller. And you know the the light here? Yeah. It's got a Batman symbol on it. Awesome. And it actually looks pretty cool. Um, looking at it, actually, it looks like he also did what I did, and he brought a grip for the controller. So uh, I got I got fed up with my controller being sweaty. Um, so right. I brought um, from Fatal Grips, our sponsor. Um, got a nice little case and some things for there just to stop your hand from being sweaty and you've been able to play that's not a controller that's that's a controller oh uh, god no that's too beefy off. it's too big well thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> i've never liked said. never liked xbox controllers because they're too too big right he's he's someone who is um a playstation fanboy who's that uh, xbox Control at me. The Xbox right. controller is very good. Why? You think you think it's, it just is? It's um, comfortable. I find that me, me. I mean, when I when I go further back like that, you can see how small it is. Really, look at that. It's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but uh, is it is it also the fact that maybe you have bigger hands? Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. I mean. Yeah. Gonna make. Yeah. You know what I they say. The you know what they say. Big hands, small. <laughs> small toes. Um, <laughs> I found with the PlayStation. I found with the PlayStation Four controller, my fingers will go into cramp quite quick. Yeah. But with this, I can be on it for a few more hours before the start going into cramp. So that's my view. Anyway, I don't know what anybody else thinks about it. But anyway, it could be a discussion. Do, do you do you have cramp fingers? With the PlayStation 4 or Xbox, someone, people with smaller hands might have problems with this. Yeah. Yeah. Can I imagine? You prefer the PS4, so you know me. I, 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 I have just a suggestion. The the skinny bit here. I don't like that being so fat. I like to be able to like reach everything. I'm looking. Yeah. I don't know. My personal. We, we can. I've got this in each one. I'm saying, like I said, because I've yeah. got big hands. This is. Yeah. Yeah. I find we can. Can we add something to the stream? Yeah, As in, for it. Um, yeah, uh, I hear Neville talking two times now today. 
uh, about uh, health things or so. So maybe we can put up a little uh, block of uh, Dr. Neville in it. Dr. Neville? What, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, well, we can, uh, Neville can help with people gaming issues. Oh. <laughs> like Dr. Doc, Neville. No, Snevel. Snevel. If you have a gaming issue and you would like some help, <laughs> yeah. just call Squirt and Neville. Sorry, or Dr. Neville on 555-469. Call today just for five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. For all your gaming needs. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so, um, I've, I've, been, I've been playing a lot of um, another game, but I forgot what you call it. Um, Hunt Showdown. All right, what what's that? this? What's that? What, what's Hunt, Hunt Showdown? Showdown? What's Hunt Showdown? Hunt Showdown's a um, survival horror PvP um, team based um, game where you've basically got to find, hunt down bosses by finding clues around the map. Yeah. Um, and while zombies and the elements is against it as well as an, um, another how many is the xbox the new update 1.0 has 12 players now because you can go up to three players in each team or you can nice. have two players so you can go solo and there's different game modes as well but basically you've got to hunt down the bosses kill them and um, like send them back to hell and once You've sent them back, you pick up the bounty, and then you've got to extract out the map without getting killed by other hunters. So you basically, the hunter turned into the hunted. So, right. Right. it's absolutely amazing. I've seen playing, uh, yeah, you, if you, you playing the game. It looks good, though. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's a game for me. Yeah. It's not, not a game for yeah. me, but it does That's look good. Terrific. It was fun. It's only for yeah, it's like, like um, it's only for like hardcore gamers who uh, who like are really good at games. No, the wear glasses and um, <clears throat> who who it's know a thing about shit. controllers. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. I I I've got. A question um, from a member in the Gamer Hive. Uh, funny enough, it was Shady actually. Screen. Sorry. Sorry, sh shady screens freeze, uh, freezing all the time. Yeah, you, your camera's well, lagging. Hold on a know. second, guys. There is a huge lag in the in the app. <coughs> it's either it's either doing that or he's doing the robot it's dance. It's his camera. It's a connection. He's like, he's like, he's like you know, when you sit, watch crime. <laughs> And, yeah. you, and you watch the crime watch programs and they show a bit of footage of a, a robber in the bank and it's like Mr. Jerky. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We got you back, kind of. Oh, oh no. maybe not. Nope. Oh, he's gone. He's disconnected. <laughs> Shady, come back. We didn't mean it. <laughs> oh, Shady. I've got some cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so. Oh. <clears throat> Come on, Shady. Come on. This one's going to require me to do a bit of editing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Shady. Shady, come oh. back. We can't live without you. Shady, come back. Hey, there he is. Hello. What were you doing? Were you doing? Slapping the salami or something? No, there was a, was a big lag. You guys froze again and it was all robot voice. So, You're, um, that's better. You're still a little bit laggy, but... 
You're not too bad. I am laggy. Just your camera. Mr. J. Yeah. Um, okay, so, yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> uh, as, as I was saying, so, um, we had a question from one of the members. Uh, right. It kind of touches on a subject that we were talking about a minute ago uh, with The Last of Us. But he says, should a story-driven game have a multiplayer mode? Or should it just stay story-driven? Uh, for me, I think it's um, a plus if the game has a multiplayer. I love multiplayer games. Um, but I think as a studio, you have have to have to make a choice in some mm -hmm. uh, But sometimes a co-op version will do as good as good enough good enough as a as a multiplayer. You don't realize how huge the multiplayer part of The Last of Us was for the first one. I can't stress how much. We've played that, right? Who? Uh, you, me, Joyce. Yeah. But like yeah. I got to a point where I got to a point where I actually I was addicted to it. Mm -hmm. It's right. that good. And they will make it for this one because there's there's a, a lot of people who want who want it. There's fans who were played the first one and they're still playing the first one. If you if you go online with The Last of Us Remastered um link up to um what's it called again? The, the online function, yeah. There'll yep. still be a lot of players playing it. In I, fact, there'll be more players now playing it, preparing for the new it. one. I, I'm a bit 50-50. That's what it's called. I'm a bit 50-50. Right. I like... Um, I like... I can hear my voice sorry, coming through someone else's. I think it's you, Shady. Yeah. That's impossible. I can hear my voice coming uh, through I have, someone's. I have, I have uh, earbuds in, so... Oh. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, I, I like the idea of a multiplayer being just, sorry, uh, a game, a story-driven game just being you and it not being multiplayer. Um, but I'm 50-50 on the fact that I do like the option of maybe having a separate part to the game that can be mm -hmm. multiplayer. Yeah, um, that's, that's, that's what they do. Right? It's factions, that's, that'll be the, the yeah. second uh, the part, right? Um, I think uh, for it just to be story driven with no multiplayer, I think it all depends on how long the story driven part of the game is gonna last. Um, if it's gonna if it's gonna be like a a thirty forty hour game, um, which is just story driven, just you on your own, not a bad idea. Um, but if it's only gonna be like a fifteen hour game, then you need to add multiplayer into it to make it fun, to make it enjoyable make it last longer worth your money Agree. if it's not broken don't fix it yeah exactly exactly um <coughs> we also have night night said remakes or remastered should old games be remade from the ground up to deliver a truly nostalgic feeling of old content with new features. You know what I would see? Mm -hmm. Love to see. It's uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Yes. Remade. Yes, I agree. I actually agree with you on that. That would be pretty awesome. I'm not a fan of remakes, but I think there are some that I would play and would be good. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get away with skateboarding games. Yeah. They're great. Uh, They're good fun. I, I just can't see I can't see the excitement out of it. If if it was something like um what's the snowboarding games um called that was tricky like, is... SS Tricky and stuff like that, I loved. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. for the, the Sega um Dreamcast there was the one where you're on rollerblades. Right. Um, I can't remember the name of it. It was a proper it was like a funky game. Like you sprayed paint stuff as you're going up um oh, what was it called? I can't remember what it's called, but that was amazing for the Dreamcast. I had that. And SS Tricky was amazing. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed the split screen on SS Tricky, but skateboarding, I just don't... I don't find them going up and down little holes in the ground type thing or... 
I don't I, know. I've done, I've done it myself, so I, I can relate to this. So I've had a skateboard when I was a kid, and um, I've fallen off the skateboard loads of times, and um, yeah. I've gone down roads, steep hills, and stuff across um, junctions where cars are going across. So I've lived, I've lived, and I've nearly killed myself on skateboards as a kid. Yeah, but um, the game itself, um, maybe I just didn't get into it properly, so that's probably why it's not. I don't, I don't know. Hunt down is more your your thing. Yeah, Re- it wrestle. It's even wrestling games. I don't know how people can play that. Yeah, no, I don't like it either. Yeah. I've played it uh, back in the days, like uh, Tekken and stuff like that. But no, I can't get wrap my head about it. Yeah, fighting sure. games. Um, so are you both, both of you on board for remakes and remastered or do you think they should be untouched? Oh, but after, uh, it depends, it depends on what they're going to remake Yeah. or remastered. It all depends on what the game's going to be, but they need to come up with original games, um, or it's just people are going to get fed up. Yeah. There's no originality out there, so they're gonna they're gonna have to balance it like like you know and pick the right ones to remaster or you know um what what knights playing uh is it medieval? Yeah. Yeah so Oh that was one of the games that was the game that came out in the, yeah. the PlayStation thing on Tuesday. And it's right. a, it's a demo game, <coughs> medieval it's a demo game that is out for for a short period of time. And you can mm. unlock something in it if you can find it. Um, if you can find it while doing the demo, then you can have that when you buy the game. I enjoyed. I enjoyed the. Was a PlayStation One it came out for? I'm I sure it was. I'm not sure. I've never. Well, played it came it. out for that, and I enjoyed that. But I just don't have the urge to want to play it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Go on then. Go on then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching the podcast. Next time we're going to be using this app called Cast. So if you haven't joined, join it. And then next time you guys yeah. can chat in real time while we film the podcast. Um, oh. it's been me, Phantom, Neville, and Shady for Hello. your podcast this week. We hope to catch you guys for the next pod. Yeah, it's gonna be brilliant. Catch you guys later. Later. Bye.